Uh, my name is Porik. I'm an alcoholic. Porik O'Malley, who's with me now, has devoted his life and indeed his life savings to investigating the Irish problem in the hope that some reconciliation between the feuding sides can be reached. Porik is with me. For me, the more important story was Porik's inner conflict and how that expressed itself in this amazing work that he did. So we really tried to stay away from the conflicts themselves. It can get really confusing talking about Northern Ireland to an audience that isn't from Northern Ireland. So we kept with the themes of, of poor. Uh, privacy to me is kind of, in a way a false concept. What's wrong with one's life being an open book? What's wrong with not being ashamed of any part of your life? What's wrong by being able to say, I made mistakes during my life, I hurt other people, and uh, I acknowledge that I hurt them. The people that do this work aren't necessarily driven by this greater view of wanting to change the world, that it's often people that are searching for meaning in their own life. I think the film is very existential in that way. I think Porig has found meaning in the work that he does. The film is really the, the argument of why someone like Porig does the work that he does. Um, the why to me is always, I think, more important or more interesting than the how. We just, over time, built trust and, and developed a, a relationship where pretty much anything was on the table as far as what we discussed. You know, if I looked around, I would never say, where's, where's James, where's the camera? You're just busy and you get used to the fact that somebody's watching you with the camera. Of course, we're all being watched by a camera these days, so... <laughs> you know, I've gone to meetings with Porg to learn. Uh, Porg has explained a lot to me about how it works, um, what causes people um, to slip into addiction, but also how they get out of it. If I get up, dress, have my breakfast, if I don't immediately begin to work, I begin to get withdrawal symptoms. I have to go and work a couple of hours to take the edge off my anxiety because I'm not working. So it has that kind of addictive impact. It's like having a drink the following morning, take the edge off. I work for a couple of hours to take the edge off. Recovery is often really complex and difficult and um, it doesn't all of a sudden you find recovery and the heavens open up and everything's fine. That It's an ongoing process, not unlike peace processes. If you take one life as being addicted to alcohol and a second life as being addicted to work, there's not much space in between. <laughs>